Here with the 2024 receiver, uh, Sokovi White. Sokovi, I guess first of all, you got an offer from Georgia earlier this month after a seven on seven in Athens. Just take me through that day, how you think you performed and, and what that day was like. Uh, it was really a team thing. You know, uh, I was out there playing with my team very hard. We're trying to compete and show everybody that we can play with anybody in the state. Cause I mean, before Cass wasn't really nothing. So now we're showing people that we can play. And I guess I did great, good enough to, to get an offer and, and catch some eyes on me. So I've been waiting on that for a long time, so. I, I talked to you after and you said you could feel, you know, Coach Muschamp, Coach McClendon, Coach Smart kind of watching you all day. How much, I guess, one, could you feel that? And two, were you kind of thinking, okay, this is my chance to really show these guys what I've gotten in an offer? Oh, uh, yeah, they, they text me all the time. I talk to them all the time. So they were like, oh, yeah, we're waiting on you to get up here. We're trying to see what you can do. We already see what you can do on film. So we're trying to see you in person and see what you can do. So I was like, all right, this is my opportunity to show them what I really got and what potential I have if they offer and they ended up offering. So, I mean, did they talk to you about, do they see you at, because obviously you're playing both here at the 7-on-7, yes, seven seven. do they see you as a receiver, a DB, kind of get you on campus and figure it out? Like, what have those conversations kind of been like? Well, I've talked to both sides of the ball. Monk can uh, offer me, but I think it's for athlete. They're just waiting to see what they're going to do with me out there. Last time I talked to Kirby, he was telling me um, they're going to use me as a toy. So. We're, we're just gonna see what happens when I get up there. How, how fun is that to kind of have, like you said, that toy designation? You got the national champions basically saying, we, we don't care where you play, we just need you here one way or another. Yeah, um, it's really special and he, and he notices what I can do on the field. So um, that makes me feel good. It's in-state team. So, I mean, it looks like I made it. So you said, doing good. Yeah. You said this is an offer you've been waiting on for a long time. Uh, just yes, what sir. has, I mean, is it the, the prototypical, you know, you grew up a Georgia fan? Or, like, what has the waiting process been like for this? I athlete? mean, every kid in, that plays football in, in the state of Georgia would, would like an offer from Georgia. So, for me to get one, it's really, really special. I know there's only a few select people who get offers like that. So, it's really special for me to get that. So, I know you went up there this past weekend, too, on, I guess, a more of a visit and, and a camp. Yes, sir. What did you show Coach McClendon in that camp, and what was some of the feedback from him kind of getting to work with you up close? Well, it was really a visit, but Coach Kirby and Georgia, they're like, uh, if you're going to come up here for a visit to come see us, you might as well get some work in. That's what they want. You're not never getting better just sitting around and stuff like that. We're not no typical college team where you don't get work in every day. So that was like, uh, they just want to see me run, play against elite competition, and, and just compete. Really. What was that visit like? What kind of, when you're up, I'm sure you've been up there before, but seeing the overall energy, the vibe, how everyone played around the program, what were your kind of impressions of Georgia when you walked through? Uh, they're very loving, you know, they, they make you feel like home. And that's that's all I really want is to, to go to a college that make me feel like home. And they, they show all that, making you a man, school first, and they're going to treat you like their own child. So that's, that's what really stood out to me. The fact that, because, I mean, they're one of the first, the, the, the bigger schools that have offered you already. How much does that early belief from the in-state school, from the national champions, how much does that mean to you at this point? It means a lot. It, it lets me know that I'm not just doing this for no reason. I mean, I have offers from FBS schools, but for them to really come out and throw the first shot at me and to, to take a chance on me really really shows me that if the champion, national champions can take a chance on me, anybody in the, any country can take a chance on me. It, it's still really early in your recruitment and everything, but how much do you feel like a a priority and for them in that 24 class at the moment? Um, we're still young. He doesn't really talk to the 24s like that, but he says I'm a main main target. They really want me up there. So um, they're just waiting on their years to get up there. And hopefully I can make some, some highlight plays for them. So from your perspective, where's, where's Georgia sit for you? Number one. Number one. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you.